Today, I'm gonna to show you a cool AI tool that'll allow you to take an image and turn that into an animated video with dancing or movement. So let's get into it. Now, the tool we're gonna to be using today is called Magic Animate. However, this is one of three very similar tools currently in development. Now, Magic Animate is the only one open for demo, so that's why we're using this one today. However, there are two more that will be released, you know, sometime soon, hopefully, and we can play around with those in the future. And those two are called Magic Dance and Animate Anyone. Now, Magic Dance seems to be about as good, maybe a little worse than Magic Animate, but we've really got to keep an eye out for this Animate Anyone. Because if you take a look at these demo videos here, they look almost perfect. Like, look at this Iron Man one. It captures the depth and the character so well with so little imperfections that this tool is going to be the future of AI animated videos. But like I said, this tool is not currently out for testing, so we cannot play around with it yet, but when it is available, I'll let you know and make a video on it. So back to Magic Animate. Now the way this works is you upload a reference image and then you upload a motion file. And then after a little bit of time, it'll generate this animation. And here's an example of like the Mona Lisa running and it does a pretty good job. Sure, it's not perfect, but this is a very early stage of this kind of thing. So we have to expect some imperfections, but seeing how this is as good as it is today, we can expect in a year that the results will be mind blowing. And then here's a few more results that also look pretty good. And then you can see it also has multi-person support. So this is really cool. Now, as far as the demo goes, that is hosted on Hugging Face. And it's a very similar like interface to a lot of other AI tools. So it's pretty easy to understand. So head down to these examples and pick whatever motion you would like. I'm just going to go with this dancing one for now. And when you click on it, it's going to auto populate these things up here. Now, because all we really want is the motion sequence, we could just hit this X on the reference image and drag in our new reference image. So I'm just gonna do this guy standing in the sand. And then you come over here, if you want a specific seed, you can do a seed or you know changing the sampling steps or the guidance scale, but ultimately you don't really need to do that. It, it works just fine without and like any edits. Um, so you just click this animate button. Now, as you can see here, I'm getting a few errors. So just refresh the page and try again. So for some reason, I cannot get this to work. It's probably because I have other tabs with this open um, because I pre-generated this because it does take you know about five minutes per generation. So that's probably why it's not working for me, but you shouldn't have any issues. So this is another generation that I did. I had this guy reading a book up against this brick wall here, and then I used this running animation. And then this is what it gave me as an output. So as you can see, there are a few background things that are going on and the book, it didn't really know what to do with the book. And so it just sort of made it a part of his shirt, which I think is funny, <laughs> but it does a pretty good job like tracking it onto the shirt. So um, overall, I think that was a pretty good success uh, for this. Now, I think the biggest downside that this has is the face and the head overall, like it doesn't keep a consistent hairstyle and the face is sort of all over the place. Um, but does a decent job at capturing the motion and especially with the shirt, like it seems to hold the V neck pretty, you know, clear throughout this animation. It doesn't seem to like change the shirt at all too much. So overall, you know, it's showing great progress for the future of this tool. Now you may be wondering how it handles drawing slash anime because we saw the Mona Lisa and that seemed to work, but that was more of like a realistic you know, drawing slash painting. So how does it work on anime where it's not, you know, exactly like a human, at least as much as like a painting would be. So I just did this dancing uh, image here. So let's see how that turned out. So it definitely struggled a little bit more with the anime one. The face is completely distorted and some weird things happened with her dress down here. Um, and overall, you know, whatever this is back here. And then it tried to form a tree where the original image, there wasn't a tree. 
and it sort of was in and out. So it definitely struggled a little bit more with the drawing, but it wasn't terrible. So it does work, just not super well. So I wasn't expecting it to work at all because it requires, you know, a pretty humanoid, you know, form, but it's doable. Now you may be wondering, how do I use other motion sequences aside from the five that are listed here? Because you can upload your own. Now the first thing that you can do is come back over to this GitHub site and sort of just screen record these, crop them, and then upload them to the site because they've already like pre-made these because it does have to be um, like this sectioned out. So they do have a few extra examples on this uh, site that they didn't have on the demo. So you could, you know, take these over and use them. But as we can see down here, this uses the dense pose sequence. So in theory, you could go download dense pose and, you know, figure out how to use it. And here's the GitHub site. But as you can see, it's no longer supported. Like nobody, like this is outdated. It's now uh, a part of this new research. So, you know, theoretically you could still install it, but you know, you'll have to go read it here. But because Magic Animate's using this outdated, you know, resource, it's a little hard to create our own. So hopefully Animate Anyone uh, will, you know, come out with an easier way to do this. As of right now, uh, we have to, you know, figure out how to use Dense Pose and install it and run it on your computer. And not only that, you have to do it a ton of times to, you know, make it generate the sequence. So overall, it'll be a lot of work to generate your own. So just try to use the ones that they already have listed there. So yeah, that was Magic Animate and how to generate these funny little like TikTok dances or running animations with the Mona Lisa. I think out of all of them, the Mona Lisa is my favorite just because it's so funny to see the Mona Lisa running in the original environment. It just did a really good job with this one. So <laughs> it makes you wonder, you know, how far this is going to advance even in just a few months, uh, because, you know, a year ago, this was completely unimaginable. So we'll just have to wait and see, you know, what happens in the future. But thank you so much for watching this video. Leaving a like and subscribing really helps the channel out. And to discover more cool AI tools like this one, check out our website at ai-search.io.